Hey everybody, it's Mike, owner and builder 1983 Mercury Capri RS50. Today we're going to talk a little bit about windshield wiper blades, uh, what to look for, and um, also how to change them. So on this car, this car doesn't go out in the rain very often, so ultimately the windshield wiper blade sits on the windshield. And this is what you get after a few years, a little bit of dry rot, and it starts to come off. So you can imagine, if you're going down the road, you hear that? You hear that noise? So if you hear that hop noise, or if you see this, it's time to change your blades. Now why? Well, one, maybe you would see. Two, if you ever get it down to that metal and that hits your windshield, it's gonna scrape it permanently. You'll never get that out. So let's talk a little bit about how to change a windshield wiper blade. First thing you wanna do when you get to the parts store is you wanna look up your year make and model car. And also, um, yeah, I'll tell you, so when I went today, I have a 16 inch. And mine's called the pin type. So there's a couple of different types. There's a clip, um, this clip type, and there's your, your pin right there where it goes through. And there's another type right there that it sort of clicks in. So this one is a multi-functional windshield wiper blade. Next thing, now that I know that I have my right blade and I don't want to take the other one off, I'm just going to take a quick glance and just look at what I'm doing here. So there's that pin type we were looking at. And you might notice I have a rag down here. So I've seen it happen more than once where somebody will pop this off, this, this lifts up, and they're trying to get it off and then whack, it hits the windshield and cracks it. So it's a nice tech tip right there. Put down a towel before you start. It takes a little bit of um, working it, but what you see here is I've gone ahead and lifted this up, and that's going to expose that pin. Okay, now I'm just going to slide off the windshield wiper blade. And where that rag is underneath there so it doesn't uh, hurt the windshield. Now, some of the newer cars, this, this will lift way, all the way up. In this car, it does not. It only goes this far. So be aware of your arm itself and just wanted to put that out there. This next step I want to show you, once I took it out of the package, it comes with a couple of different clips, and this is what it looks like. Now, remember, I did get the right part number, and I did get the right windshield wiper. But I wanted to look again on how this is. So in my case, I have that pin. We see that there's two pinholes, there's a large one and a small one, okay? And it has a clip inside here. So what I'm gonna do is pop that clip out by pushing on it this way, and then we'll replace it with this clip here and I'll show you how. So in this case, this, this clip was in here from underneath, and all I did was just push down on it to get it out. Now I have this other clip here that we're gonna actually use. So. Again, oftentimes these come with extra clips and they're not used. I have a pile of different clips and assorted things here upstairs uh, for my windshield wiper blades. But so now the next step we'll do is we'll bring this over and uh, show you how to install it. So what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm orientating the uh, windshield wiper blade to where it's going to go. I'm looking at my two different holes and I know, I know it's already the smaller hole. I've only got one hand here. So what I'll do is I'll get it started and show you each step. Okay, so I pushed it through on the small hole there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clip and just take a look at it. So obviously it's got three different settings. I'm going to take the middle of this and clip it onto that one. And then I'll press down onto this one, which will essentially connect it in two different places. Okay, so when I left off, what I did here is I ended up putting that clip in the center and which left it open uh, like this. So. When we first got this, that clip was on there, and I just popped that one on, on the rotating assembly in the center. And I'm going to tell you right now, sometimes in the cold weather, like we are right now, that's hard to do. I actually walked over a little space heater and got it warmed up, but it did clip on there, and this is important. Another thing, our Fox body friends, is um, you may notice that this is lifted. And that's because there's a little clip here down here. So you lift up on the arm on the Fox bodies, pull out that little pin and that'll hold this up for you. Uh, it's not like that on all other cars. All right. So now we're going to go in one and two. And then the idea is we're going to push down on this until we hear it click. All right, so now I can remove my rag because we have our windshield wiper blade that's been replaced. Uh, remember a couple things. So there's the, the center of the windshield wiper blade post is in there. So the clip went there and the post went through. Push this down and again, it was hard because um, I'm in freezing cold weather. Uh, we have a Fox body here, so we know that we can sort of lift this up, press that down, there you go. So 
So remember, a couple things. I always do both sides just for safety. I keep the better one uh, hanging around. I'll put this upstairs just in case it's needed for something else. And rem also remember to get your part number. Know that there's a couple different ways to do this. And um, thank you for checking out this video. It's been a little while since I've done some stuff, but it's because I moved this year. But uh, we're getting back on track and uh, we're going we're to do more. So thanks for liking and subscribing to Capri Name Kong and we will see you out there.